All right, so the textbooks has you simplify things such as this. 16 factorial divided by 10 factorial, 6 factorial. And we are able to simplify this. And I'm going to do this two ways. One I'm going to do by hand, and the next I'm going to do it by a calculator. And for the exams, I'm fine with you doing it by the calculator. But I do like to show you how to do this by hand as well. I could rewrite 16 as, or 16 factorial as 16 times 15 all the way down to 10 factorial. Because 10 factorial is just 10 times 9 times 8 all the way down to 1. So I've written out the first part of the 16 factorial. And the reason why I've done that is because when I rewrite it like that, then I'm able to divide out that 10 factorial in the numerator with the 10 factorial in the denominator. And then I'm left behind with what I have in the numerator divided by 6 factorial. And in that case, I'd have to rewrite 6 factorial as 6 times 5 all the way down to 1. And I could do some division and simplify it out that way. Or we can use our calculator. How would I do this using my calculator? Well, first let's go ahead and find what 16 factorial is. I'm going to type in 1 6, and I'm going to go to math. Then I'm going to go to PRB, and I'm going to go down to the number 4, which is the exclamation mark. And that gives me 16 factorial. Again, that was math, then PRB, and then we went down to the factorial, which happened to be the number 4. All right, so let's go ahead and say we're going to divide that by, and you have to use parentheses, otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer, 10, and then we're going to again hit math, PRB, and then down to the number 4, which is factorial, and then 6, and the exact same thing again. Close the parentheses and hit enter, and our answer is 8,008. And again, for an exam, if you just write down 8,008, that's fine if you do it by the calculator. But just be careful that you use parentheses. If I didn't use parentheses, I would have done 10, 16 factorial divided by 10 factorial times 6 factorial. So just be wary of how you're using your calculator.